God, are we there yet? Welcome to my YouTube channel for another episode of Dear God, Are We There Yet? Where we talk about self-growth, passion to empower, and budgets and business. It's 2020 and look what I just picked from my tree in mi casa. An orange, like, I know to you it's just like, it's just a naranja. Yeah, but I don't know about you, but for me, like when I see something like grown and you literally pick it and you're about to eat it, I don't know, it's just a sense of like, wow, like nature. It's simple, I know. Um, my wife is growing a garden and it's so funny that she's putting everything together and it's like, what you're growing, and she's done it before, so it's like, what you're growing, we're gonna eat, like how freaking cool is that? Anyways, let's get to today's episode um, for the YouTube channel. I want to thank you, make sure you subscribe, like, share, whatever, you know, the little thing thing. It's gonna be either here or here or somewhere. <laughs> let's get into today's topic. So, dear God, how happy am I? So, I wanted to make this because it's the new year, obviously, and been reading and it's a lot about self-reflection and you ask yourself like dear God how happy am I how are we doing an inventory check so I'm gonna give you 20 questions right or probably less than 20 questions and you're gonna answer yes or no so all you need to do right now is grab a pencil or a paper or something or you can kind of put a mental note but you're gonna need a pencil paper trust me it's not gonna take a long time this video is not gonna be long whatever um, and I want you to put yes if the statement pertains to you or no if the statement doesn't pertain to you and at the end we're gonna tally it up and it's kind of kind of give you a self-reflection of if you're happy are you happy um, and happiness is all they always say like what is happiness is happiness a feeling is it an emotion is it a sense of being is because we always say like you can't be happy 24 7 I mean roughly you can you can you can you can be happy even in tragedy uh, isn't that crazy like you can you can be happy with your life and yourself and then that moment just not be happy and because you're going through a tragedy and that's fine so let's just get into the questions I want you to write C si or no yes or no under each statement and then at the end we'll tally them up and then you can kind of see your happiness score I mean not happiness score like oh my god this test disclaimer porque ya yo, yo conozco usted en YouTube you know let me give a disclaimer this is just for fun but it kind of lets you these statements can kind of see where you're at so let's begin ready I know my strengths and natural talents and how I can use them and I'm just gonna be looking down a little bit on my paper so that I don't I make sure I'm saying this right let me repeat that I know my strengths and natural talents and I know how to use them. So if you feel this way, yes. If you don't, put no. Next question. I have a bigger picture, purpose in life and know how I will achieve this. One more time. I have a bigger picture, purpose in life and, I, and know how I will achieve this. See or no? And the thing is, don't think about it so much. Like, the, when I say it, just like, yes, whatever comes to your mind. Because I feel like when we think about things too much, it's like, are we really just trying to skew the quiz? Or are we really just going with what we first come in? So, lo que la mente te dice en lo principio, just go ahead and, um, and put it on. Next question. I value creativity and make time to pursue creative interests, even though I may not be a musician or an artist. One more time. I value creativity and make time to pursue creative interests even though I may not be a musician or an artist. Next one. I have a clear picture of how three important things I would like to achieve in the next 12 months and I know how I will reach those goals. Otra vez. I have a clear picture of three important things that I would like to achieve in the next 12 months and I know I will reach these goals. The next one. I have defined my own version of success. I have defined my own version of success. The next one, I know how to keep myself motivated with regards to achieving my goals. I know how to keep myself motivated with regard to achieving my goals. I'm gonna take a little pause right here before we continue to the next questions. And I'm gonna tell you this, you always have to check in with yourself 
on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis of how you're feeling and your happiness and your emotions. Because what happens is that we put those emotions and that happiness and we set it aside and we put it so deep that sometimes we forget about who, what our happiness is. So as you take this quiz and you're thinking about it, it's okay if you're like, I don't know, it's okay. Just pick yes or no for now. And later on, you can kind of dig deep into these questions and these statements per se, and then ask yourself like, what does this really mean to me? Does it pertain to me? Maybe it doesn't. So let's continue. I feel a sense of control over my finances and financial plans. I feel a sense of control over my finances and my financial plans. La próxima. I love my work and feel that what I do is aligned with my values. And you know what? I'm just going to read them and you could just put yes or no and rewind because I don't want this video to be super long. <laughs> I feel the next one is I feel free to communicate in an open and honest way in all my important relationships. La próxima. Others find me inspiring and positive because the way I live my life. And if you put no here, like just let me give you an example. Like if you put no here, it doesn't mean that you're not like positive to people. It's not that. Just think about your friends and your family and how people, you know, perceive you and like they come to you and etc. And and even if you put no, maybe you're maybe in this time of your life, you're not there and you're not doing that maybe you're in a rut it's okay like these things are okay all we're doing is again disclaimer is just to you know check in with ourselves with our happiness la próxima i know how to say no and when i need to say no hm. i make time on a regular basis for personal development la próxima i have a supportive network of friends who encourage me to live in accordance with my values I'm going to repeat that one again. I have a supportive network of friends who encourage me to live in accordance with my values. The people around you, the people in your circle, the people you associate with, yes, it does to have an influence because remember, I was actually reading some, I was actually listening to something and it was, I think it was uh, from The View and she, I think it was Adrienne and she said like when she was in her workout mode or whatever and one of her friends like, girl, Tú estás flaquita, no te preocupes, come ese pan, tú estás bien. And then, you know, her personal training, Macy Aries. Hola, prima. You're going to be on my podcast one day, speaking it into existence. Um, but anyways, she said, you know, if those people around you are saying those things, they're not your friends because they know how, how important that is to you. Like, it's okay. You could be positive to your friends and be like, yeah, girl, you look good. Don't matter. But I support you if you want to work out, whatever. And she had to reevaluate that. And she had to tell herself, like, you're right. I don't need to be around those people. So it's very important to know. La próxima. I feel confident to be myself. Hmm. Próxima. I know how I self-sabotage and I make a conscious effort to overcome those habits. That's me, man. Like I self-sabotage a lot of things sometimes and it has to do with fear. And that's why 2020, I'm all about like playing big and recognizing what you do to yourself can hinder your happiness. It can hinder success. It can hinder a lot of things. La próxima. I have at least one interest of or hobby of my own. And we only have four more, so hang in there. Next one, I eat a healthy diet, manage alcohol and coffee intake and exercise at least three times a week. Next one, I make time to do something indulgent or relaxing for myself every week. Next one, I take annual vacations and really unwind. And the last one, I feel calm and control most of the time. So here's how we're going to tally this up. If your score is 15 or over, you are happier than most. It doesn't mean that you're completely happy with your life. You can have so many things going on, but generally you kind of have like, you have a, you have a plan and you, you, uh, you're acknowledging it. Anywhere between 10 and 15, you're doing okay, but you could do some with some positive change. And if you're 10 or below, you might benefit from support or some groups and podcasts and YouTube channels like this that are continuously in your ear and I think that with self-growth is always a journey that's ongoing so even if you're 15 or higher or 10 below I feel like we equally can always self use self-growth in our life so I hope you guys enjoy this week's video and go ahead and comment below any other videos that you want to see 
about self-growth, passion to empower, or budgets in business. Until next time, hasta la quinta la mañana. Ciao!